<laughs> tell us about your wife. <laughs> Wait, tell us about your wife. Uh, What's yeah. her name? Uh, Nat. Nat. Law- lawyer. Um, hates law. Great wife. Super smart. Brings up our kids amazing. She's got a sister. Uh, uh, yeah, she's got a couple. One younger, one older. How old is she? And that's like, I think she's like 30. Ah, She sounds too good to be true. She's not real. It's 38. I don't know. She's That's okay. You went younger. You can't get in trouble. Show us a a picture. Bro, seriously. (laughs) That. Look. Look how lucky I am. Dude. Fuck off. That's not your wife. (laughs) Uh, dude, I seriously, oh, I was one of these guys that was uh, out of control. Do you like pigeons and tigers too, because this guy's going to give Mike Tyson a run for his money. He's punching. He's punching. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm looking at her. He's punching. But for me, like, you know, I, I, I having that. She's a lawyer too. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good answer. All right, flip me for her. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's 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 about the 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 blend of bringing up a household when you have kids and it's not easy no and, it's not a little boy he's uh nearly three connor Ooh, i got five and six and it's hectic yes yeah, see i win mine's a little less yeah it's hard <laughs> it's hard work and i i understand it's with my fun, role though. it's hectic you'd be a good dad though you've got a good sense of humor you get home you'd be fun you'd be exciting he doesn't really get so. Leave me alone. I've had a hard day. I had to podcast that goon and prick from Meredith first. So yeah, nah. I'm, I just I'm, want a beer and I'm going to bed. Yeah, nah. You know, you know that. Uh, I love it. I come home. I'm like rock star. So uh, I actually have filmed the f- few times coming home. They love it. A few times yeah. coming home when they're actually excited. That's it. Yeah, film it, anyway, yeah. and then it's like, yeah, and that goes. Fuck, you're out all day. And you come home for like half an hour to read a book, and you're, and you're like, the hero. Gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and envy that, you. I envy. Yeah, you. that's. I mean, that's. I hard. do. I really do envy that. So. Because it's it's. I'm really lucky to have that. Yeah, yeah. You're you're really lucky to have that. Coming from a guy with a with a broken family, you're yeah, lucky to. You're very lucky to have that. So treasure it. Yeah, because my parents um my parents split up in eighty two. Oh, fuck. I, I wasn't there then. Shit. I'm, Otherwise, I'm, I'm I could. Actually, have... saying how old? Just like no, 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 no. Some that's... people. No one here was born, huh? Yeah, no, 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 no. I wasn't here. I could have fixed it, but I wasn't here. <laughs> and, and for Sorry, me, Roger. Yeah, for me, I got to, you know, I, I was lucky enough that the parents sort of... They get along all right, yeah? Yeah, but I learned from an early age, they competed. And so I made the best of both worlds. Like, you know, was, As you do. And I, I think when... Christmas I, is good. Yeah, well, it was. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. And get your gifts from your mum, your dad, then you sell the ones from whoever's your favourite, and they like, oh, can right, get yeah, me anything. Is, and they this get is you back more. before eBay. Right. Yeah, yeah, gum tree. Yeah, gum tree. Way before gum tree. You can't hustle at the front Woo! of your house. You don't belong in Modbury. <laughs> what was the first thing you started to sell? First thing I started to sell. Here's the truth. Um, I actually nearly. I, I gotta be honest. I nearly. It's a true story. I nearly took your whole family out of the equation. So what happened is, I was a young boy. We were living in Scotland. We lived down the road from a church. I used to go to the local convenience store. You call it down there. It was a little sweet shop. I used to buy up all the sweets with about fifty quid that I had from my pocket money and things like that. Then I used to go and I used to have this ivory wall out the front of the house. Church was on a Sunday, and I used to sell the sweets that I bought from the shop with a three hundred percent markup. I didn't know that the church ladies and everyone felt sorry for me, so they used to buy my sweets off the church wall. My mum came home, was embarrassed to hell that I was doing it. My dad thought, what an entrepreneur, he's got, he's learning right. Mum was that embarrassed. We lived in a very nice neighbourhood and she's got her son sitting there, uh, about five-year-old, selling sweets to the churchgoers, thinking uh-huh. this is brilliant. And it, was, it wasn't it was called Drake Stall Michael. It was, uh, it, it was actually, it was just a hustle. And um, I started hustling at a young age and I've hustled my whole life ever since. But there's, I, I don't have anyone in this world that can ever say that I've done bad by them, I've ripped them off or I've lied about my word. I've always kept my word. I believe that's the most important thing. Even when you commit to a crap deal, keep your word because that's all you have in this world is your word and your handshake. To me, I'm all about the word, so I, I do hear that all the time. <clears throat> The first thing you I... You hear it. Everyone says it. But tell me the real people, people that it. can commit to it. You I, tell me one person... I've got... That many people are listening to this. That many people are listening to this. Bring forward one case where I've ever, ever, ever screwed anyone over or done wrong by anyone. Bring it forward because you'll get zero. Well, that's good because... It's I can a, say that and that's a proud thing to be able to say. 
And not many people can. No, fucking no one can. Do you want to know the Why first thing I sold? Why do you think you're I so sold? quiet? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know the first thing I sold? What? I sold Ninja Stars. Did you? Yeah. In year five. Proper ones. Yeah. So I you had took to them to school, yeah? Yeah. PAC would have loved that. Yeah, it was good until... Uh, so I had an incident where <laughs> a cat, something happened to a cat. And not they, the most favourite animal in Australia, the cats. No, Egypt loved them. Apparently, like they came back to me saying it was my fault because apparently, this rumour has it, that I, I was the one that, that had the ninja stars. Well, I denied it. Right, obviously. And Drunk, can't remember one of those ones. <laughs> that was a little bit before that. But the next thing I started to sell was porno mags. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. How old? Year seven. Yeah, that's not a bad age. Yeah. yeah. So year seven before high school, mate, I could get hold of and that was like the, black edition. Could you really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that well, was like a thirty-two page mag, but by the time you'd finished with it, it was about a five page mag because all the all the, all the pages were stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you know? No, nah, no. Nah, well, you know, we own, we had. I fucking you. bought six of them, and my fucking I got well, pregnant. <laughs> we, had, we had news agencies so i could pick up mags i uh, like for nothing and i'd sell a black um a penthouse black couples edition 20 20 25 bucks and you know and i and i was selling like you know 10 to 15 a week it was a pretty good business. That's a good hustle. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. Like I, I, yeah, I would have jumped in on that. I was when the can- I went to the canteen. I could pay with fifties. Balling, balling. <laughs> it got to a stage where he's that- sitting there. He's at the canteen. He sees that fat canteen lady. He's like, it don't matter. JP in the head. He's flicking fifties. He's paying out more than a time wad bookie it, machine. It um, uh, it um, it's. <laughs> it, it's I, I had it down to a stage where they actually complained because they said the kid was uh, but the way I did it I had a friend Jason if he's listening sorry Jason who, who, he, he then ended up Everyone getting in trouble full boy. He, he, he ended up getting in trouble because yeah. Jason was rich and at yeah. school I like people th- I wasn't rich at all. Like it was just I was just one of the numbers, and yeah. so I sent Jace to the canteen with fifties, and they end, he ended up getting in trouble. He had to take the heat because they were saying, "How's this kid paying in fifties all the time?" So they rang at his PAC. Parents. Yeah. Does anyone not pay in fifties at PAC? I feel like you'd pay at fifty in PAC, and they give you a chubby chub and go, "Oh, what? You expect the change? You expect the change?" Excuse me, you're at Prince Alfred College. We we custom build the most pretentious people in society. We're part of a club. We're not Harvard, but we think we are. Well, a bit like that, wasn't it? Be it, honest. Uh, it's exactly like that. Mm. Western but suburbs, Emmanuel College. Did, that's where we're at. A Kevridge. Did Did you do Did you do anything um, at school that you got in trouble for? You said this was a two-hour podcast. We, yeah, no, we, we to might need to. We to might need to bring a sleeping bag for this one. Uh, did I do anything at school? I got in trouble for. It's a like you know. I, I reckon. I, I used to have a hustle where there's a there's six there's six sides on a pencil that you roll. There's six sides on those pencils uh, at school. Do you know what I mean? The red and black ones. You're on yeah. the one with the gold yeah, strip. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? You pick the side with the white writing. You get. Four times your money. You put a dollar on. The hustle was real. Art Bullshit. Class. Really? Mm. What? Yeah, no, it had to be I'd pay out four times the money. Had to be hustle. No, 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 no. That was, that was, oh, sorry. Year seven, yeah. No, no. Year seven's high school now, but not when we were going to school. Yeah, well, I didn't go to school in the 80s. I'm a young guy. I'm funky and cool. Hey, mind you, oh, you drive uh, a Tesla. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, but I'll, 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 I'll let you go on that one. I'll, but I'll, I will let yeah, you go. Year, year seven. Um, what else? Um, I filled a... Uh, no, standard stuff. I'll give you a good one. No, so but, we were but sitting but in sort the, of, No, the reason I ask it is because it sort of sets you up for what you're going to do when it, you leave it school. It does, right? it does, yeah. I was the class clown, so I was always in trouble. I was sitting out the front of the German class in the chair because I was naughty. Um, we had one game, yeah, 
people will relate to this. Other people will say I'm a bully. We had one game where it was Chinese whispers in music class and it was about talking about how the things can get misinterpreted through tones. So we had a, a note to say and it was la da 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 and then by the end of it you played Chinese whispers and at the end you had to the, the end person had to go la da 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 and get the notes right. Anyway, obviously I was quite close to the end but I wasn't the last one. So the last person gets up and they go, Thomas Sosick wants a donut. Thomas Sosick was a fat kid at school. Uh, it was hilarious. <laughs> but it was a big form of bullying. <laughs> I don't condone I, bullying. I, I, I'm saying they don't. funny. They probably don't do it anymore. Nah. No. That's, da, 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 da. that's fair to say. So it's fair to say that I think you and I are both, we're both very similar. Uh, family business. Uh, parents started the business. Um, you know, I've I've copped my fair share of you, know, you got a silver spoon oh. in your mouth. Um, you know, you, know, you it's your more father's. so than me. You're royalty in Adelaide. I mean, <laughs> not because of not because of that, but because of honestly the great things that you, that your old man's done. Like, t- to be honest with you, like, um, I'm not going to take this away from you because I've never met him. But I'd say that. He, he, you're gonna be twice as good because you've just you're so down to earth. You've just you've got the fundamentals, and I just feel like you're so relatable. Like you've got a guy here from Mass. You're sitting here, you're having a laugh. We've smashed heaps of wines. We've got CV in the corner who doesn't know if he's a virgin. He slipped it in once, but does it count? And then we've got the beautiful IT girl over here that's just sitting here going, "Thank God I'm getting paid to listen to this shit. This is great." Last week I was picking up trolleys. <laughs> God, I got recruited for this job. Do you know what I mean? It's like we're having fun with it, and that's what life's about. It's it's about it's about creating that space, and you've got a space here where it's like it's not that it's not all that political correct. You know, you're not just a typical businessman that's sitting there silver suited. Oh yes, how can I bust my suppliers? And do, you do great things, and you're a very loyal company, and you've always supported SA, and 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 that is honestly like, I don't have a. We deal with a lot of other companies, and it's like it, it's an honestly a pleasure to deal with you guys because it's just like you're just real. From everyone, from from your whole operation down, they they throw out your father's values, which is just real. I'd say you're a bit of a black sheep. You, you you're not as you know traditionalist, but guess what? You're having fun and you're having fun doing it, and you live once and don't live for anyone else. Live for you guys, and and, and it's good. It's fun. I, I'm love to be here. I've never been so welcomed as a guest. It's uh, I've been on hundreds of shows. Kyle and Jackie, uh, you know, Brendan Vivola's interviewed me. This is the best. We've smashed a few drinks, a shitload of drinks, and we've had some fun doing it. And, and I've enjoyed it. And I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I came here, I'll be honest, because I'm always brutally honest. I came here thinking, oh, fuck, this guy's going to be some up himself wanker. I'm going to have to sit here and listen to all this shit. And fucking hell, he's probably going to be the biggest knob in the planet. Oh, God. And he's going to give me the finger at the end. He's just going to tease me. And I'm going to have to sit here and swallow it because I want his business. And it's going to be shit. Guess what? The guys are realist and it's Fucking fun doing it. Give it to me or not. We're, we're having a good time. <laughs> that's that's that sums uh, you up. Uh, that's very flattering, and I'll take that on board. What what? Settle down as the table's what? just creeping yeah. up from JP. Yeah. There, he's starting to he's start <laughs> he's starting to bar up, lady. <laughs> no, my zip's done up. Um, well, it wasn't so, when CV had so, you. So, 